Hello. Hello, a couple of days ago, I was cruising around uh, the YouTube and uh, I, re I realized that uh, uh, Broadway uh, Tony Award was given like a, a couple of weeks ago and uh, oh, I didn't know that, you know. Uh, and also Broadway is coming back. I think the particular Broadway um, Tony Award show was uh, trying to uh, invigorate the uh, Broadway seasons uh, because it has been closed, completely closed. Uh, actors are out of work, but now it's coming back. So I'm glad that it's coming back. And uh, <laughs> um, but uh, you know, the, every year when I um, uh, see the Tony Award show, which is about June, they they are given away the June, and I always uh, watch it on TV, the CBS. Uh, has uh, this particular coverage uh, every year, uh, but this year I'm not sure that it's on the on the TV or not. Uh, but it's a uh, it's a bits and pieces in uh, YouTube, so I could see that like uh, Audrey McDonald and Brian Stokes Mitchell are singing together, and Andrew Ranos are singing, and also Idana Mental uh, singing. And uh, they are great, great Broadway musical actors, and uh, I really uh, missed uh, their um, performance, you know. And uh, but more than that, I think um, my uh, love for Broadway musicals and Broadway plays uh, went back all the way to. Uh, to the time that I came to the U.S. and uh, I didn't know much about uh, musicals and plays or anything and I couldn't even understand what uh, English uh, language uh, they're speaking and, uh, and so but gradually I, I got into it and I uh, become 1980s when Les Mis and Phantoms are, are in vogue uh, I was deep into the Broadway culture and I really, really uh, enjoyed that. Uh, uh, luckily, uh, my sister's family uh, living in Manhattan and at, the, at the time and I, I had an opportunity to visit them once in a while. Uh, every year I visit them and every time I go there, uh, of course, I, 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 every night I, I kind of uh, um, try to see some Broadway musicals and plays, and uh, um, so it's a fond memory. But that particular uh, my um, activities ceased when I uh, uh, I'm, I I think when I got married and uh, uh, you know moved away uh, and so forth, and the life it became a little bit you know that much of luxury. Uh, oriented uh, stuff anymore and uh, uh, so I kind of uh, you know, stopped going to the Broadway theater even though even the uh, there's a um, uh, Broadway touring groups coming w once in a while to to, to show the uh, uh, Broadway uh, musicals and stuff in Denver for example uh, they are coming to Denver, and uh, uh, but uh, I, you know, it's very very difficult to get a ticket. For example, like a Hamilton, I wanted to see that, but uh, you know they came like a two or three times to Denver, but I didn't have a chance to see that. But luckily, the Hamilton is available uh, on the YouTube, uh, uh, not YouTube, I think. Uh, the, I think the, the Netflix or something, and I saw that. Um, and in the Heights uh, this year, uh, you know, they, they showed in a theater like August maybe, but uh, um, you know, not so many people went to see it. Uh, I wanted to see it, but I didn't go to see it at the theater because of the COVID. 
and um, Eva, dear Evan Hansen. I think uh, that also came to the theater, and it's it's now still on there in the theater, but I don't feel like going to the theater yet. <laughs> so um, you know, I I have to wait until that's gonna be available in the, in the you know Netflix or something like that. And I like to see that. But also, the Evan Hansen suffered, uh, not because of the uh, COVID, but I think because of the. Uh, the movie audience is completely different from the theater audience and um, uh, they are tremendously different uh, expectation from the movies so if the you know the song and dance thing appears um, on the screen they thought oh you know, they, they got kind of a little bit taken uh, by surprise and of course they don't enjoy it as much you know, this year, like a West Side Story, the Steven Spielberg um, um, remade the 1960s big Broadway musical West Side Story. And I also that particular thing. I'm not sure it came to the theater yet or not. I have no idea. But I don't think it's going to be a big hit. And, uh, <clears throat> but uh, for me, that's the only way to see it. I think either film or the, you know, somehow the, um, like a, you know, CD, uh, the uh, DVDs and so forth, uh, the, uh, the musical was shot and at the stage, and I like to see that. And so this particular Tony Award show was kind of a bittersweet tone from the beginning to the end, uh, even though they are trying to make it. Uh, Broadway coming back happening now, but still in the U.S. the COVID cases rising and especially Delta variant and uh, people talking about uh, a booster shot even though I have like a two Pfizer vaccines, but I may have to get another a booster shot to prevent the, uh, this Delta variant. Um, Anyway, so yeah, I think uh, theater culture uh, existing, uh, um, you know, even um, all over the world, even in Japan. I was amazed that the Japanese people translate some of the English lyrics to Japanese language and they do the show there, like the Lemis, uh, they do. And that's very interesting and it's a uh, very uh, faithful translation to the original English lyrics and uh, <coughs> but as you know the uh, you know somehow this it suffers because the language is not the same um, even the Stephen Sondheim's uh, Pacific Overture uh, that I saw that uh, Japanese version of it and it's fantastic you know when they do that and I have a tremendous respect and I think uh, uh, they should have more audience uh, uh, like, a, like a Broadway for example they, sh they should have like a Broadway type, type of uh, theater district in Tokyo or somewhere uh, they should have those things but I don't think they do they have a big big theater in Tokyo for example in Osaka for example and they do like a couple of months engagement and they do that and um, you know so, <coughs> uh, the tickets are very expensive but uh, you know always there's a theater fan uh, but uh, it's not like a Broadway theater so I really hope uh, that uh, Broadway will come back very strongly this year and uh, continuously uh, thrive in this tremendous um, you know, expertise in uh, uh, musical uh, theaters uh, you know that's only uh, Broadway can do that and the West End can do that but no one else in the world can do that uh, other language I think uh, they are not successful doing those shows every day the same show for 
three or four or five years and uh, that's incredible and I used to go to the uh, New York City and uh, I uh, when I was single of course and uh, I enjoy the you know TKTS like a you know, very cheap uh, tickets available on that particular night uh, you kind of uh, lined up for the uh, cheap tickets and then you get the cheap tickets and then go to the show and uh, every show I saw I don't I didn't have any regrets or anything I completely enjoyed it because it's so good and the actors and actresses so so good and I kind of admire them and uh, I hope um, that particular culture should go to you know, different languages like Spanish and French and uh, German and uh, you know even in Japanese, Korean, you know all these countries uh, they, they are tremendous uh, uh, studiosts of the theaters, Broadway theaters. So but anyway I became kind of nostalgic seeing that particular 20 hour presentation and this year <coughs> I think Moulin Rouge got the best musical and Alan Tveit was only nominated best actor in the musical okay and he got also because of that he got it automatically Tony you know and uh, um, the best play uh, was given to the play called uh, The Inheritance. The Inheritance, uh, I think, uh, uh, played in London, West End first, and uh, uh, we got a lot of awards also. And uh, but uh, 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 this year, that got the best play, and I really like to, to uh, you know, because it's, it's, you know. Forget it, I cannot go to the real live theater. So I have to buy a book of the play, and I, I'm thinking of that. So, anyway, so I think in my whole life, I think uh, when I was going to the theater like that, I thought that was something extraordinarily enjoyable, and I couldn't, I couldn't. Uh, uh, replace with something else, even hiking or traveling all over the world. And that was a, you know, that couldn't replace it, that particular fun. And uh, that was like a, when I was, you know, avidly enjoying the live theaters. But now I um, become a little bit sedated, right? Uh, because of, uh, due to the age, my age, and uh, due to the distance due to the financial um, capacity, um, all these things. I felt like I, I stopped going to the live theater, right? Even though I go occasionally that uh, here and there, like the local, uh, you know, theaters, and I, I enjoy that. But uh, no, nothing compared to the Broadway. So I remember that particular fun. That was a tremendous fun, and uh, I think I I really feel that that is uh, one of the uh, most enjoyable things in the entire life for me. And uh, so, um, Lord Jason Hart, I like to sing a song. Summer journeys to Niagara and to other places. Aggravate all our cares with sable fares. I have a cozy little flat in what is known as Old Manhattan. We'll settle down right here in town. We have Manhattan, the Bronx and Staten Island too. It's lovely going through the zoo. It's very fancy, and all the fancy streets you know. 
the subway charm a soul when balmy breezes blow to and fro and tell me what street compare with smooth streets in July sweet push curds gently glide it in the great big city's wondrous toy just made for girl and boy we hop with your Manhattan into an isle of joy clever lyrics of Lawrence Hart I love this these guys so this is my few cents today thank you bye